Now, if you want to escape all the heat Chuck was talking <laughs> about and enjoy something indoors, how about a play from an award-winning Indianapolis native mm -hmm. author? Janet Co Langhart Cohen has penned Anne and Emmett. She joins us this noon with more. Good afternoon to you. Hello. Hello. Nice, nice to be home. Yeah, back <laughs> welcome back. Who's your hospitality, right? Yes. Your play really hits on the pulse of so many important social issues going on all across America right now. Where did you draw your inspiration for all of that? Well, first of all, the play Anne and Emmett, a one-act mm -hmm play is a dramatization of two real-life people, two teenagers who lived in societies that couldn't protect them. Mm -hmm. We're all familiar with Anne Frank, the young, right. beautiful Jewish girl who lived and died in Nazi Europe. She wrote a diary that touched the hearts of humanity. Mm -hmm. Her diary is second only to the Holy Bible in sales. And I was fascinated by her. I felt a part of her because when I read her diary, I was the same age she was when she wrote it. Wow. Um, Emmett Till, fewer mm -hmm. people are familiar with Emmett Till, the young black boy who mm -hmm. was from Ch Chicago, Illinois, right. who during the summer of 1955 went to Money, Mississippi to visit his relatives. And he didn't understand the racial Jim Crow mores of the South back in those days. And he whistled, plainly whistled mm -hmm. at a white woman. And because of it, he was brutally murdered. And his murder changed the course of American history. It galvanized the new civil rights movement. It galvanized Rosa Parks, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And it changed this country. So I write about these two teens. And in many ways, they parallel what's happening in the headlines now. Mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter, and you look at Europe, anti-Semitism seems to be on the rise in Europe. So they're, they're stories while they're history. It's a form of history, sadly, that still lives in us. So I'd like everyone to come to the Indiana Repertory Theater on West Washington here in Indianapolis and see the play. It's uh, only 90 minutes, no intermission. <laughs> but I think what you'll find uh, or discover is something you already know, that while many of us are different, we see each other and our differences as the other, You'll discover the commonalities, mm -hmm. and you'll find a way, I think, to act. We need to act. We need to be activists, whether it is, in some cases, to get your education, right. whether it is to vote, whether it is not to be silent witnesses watching what's going on and pretending mm -hmm. you don't see it, yeah. much the way the Europeans did during the Nazi period. So many things you really get a chance to connect with. And oh, absolutely. With you as a Hoosier growing up here, left in the 70s, you're married right now to William S. Cohen, former Secretary of Defense, living in our nation's capital. A lot of interesting things you also got a first-hand look at that you can sort of draw interests to into mm -hmm. your writing, into your play. I am very blessed to be married to an extraordinary man. Um, my husband, William Cohen. Many of your viewer, viewers probably remember him um, as a friend of Dan Coates, Senator <laughs> Dan Coates. Uh, my husband was a congressman, U.S. Senator. And in Bill Clinton's second term, my husband, Bill Cohen, served as his Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. And that was a wonderful opportunity for both of us to be with our armed forces those four mm -hmm. years with the men and women who served in our armed forces as well as their families. I learned so much about why we are number one in the world mm -hmm. because of our fine military. As we all prepare to celebrate Labor Day That's right. this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, much more information on this play on our website, WTHR.com, debuting tonight at the Indiana Repertory Theater for tickets at $35. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.